Sports are a vital part of global life, and attendance has been rising as the sports grow in popularity. It is not an unusual sight to see tens of thousands and even up to the hundreds of thousands of spectators coming to watch games. But technology changes, and stadiums are no exception. Eventually, they get old, and teams look towards the shiny new thing, and either build, buy, or lease a newer stadium. But then what happens to the old stadium? Unfortunately, many of them just sit there, abandoned and unwanted. Why? Let's take a look. But before we get into it, please subscribe if you haven't already. We have had fantastic growth over the past few weeks, and every little bit counts. So again, please subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get on with the video. Some stadiums that once hosted grand events and had insane attendance now lie empty, barely ever filling seats and sometimes completely abandoned. One of the biggest examples of this is the Great Strahov Stadium. Built in Czechoslovakia in 1926, it was originally designed as a venue for Spartakiada, which was a mass gymnastics event in Czechoslovakia held every five years. This is why the stadium is surrounded by dormitories and smaller sports fields, which participants would use as housing and training facilities before, during, and after the events. It hosts up to 250,000 spectators at once to come and enjoy the games, and was a pride of the city at one point. But the picture today is much more bleak. The stadium is long past its days of getting 250,000 spectators and is now only used by the second team and youth teams of Sparta Prague. However, it still needs financial backing from the government to keep it in use and the structure standing. The dormitories and cafeterias for the students are now used by the University of Prague. So while it's long past its former glory, at least it still has a use. But not every stadium gets used. Some have just been left to rot, abandoned and unwanted. But why? Well, there are many reasons these stadiums become abandoned. The first one is changes in the stadium technology, such as hospitality and fancier tickets. These have become a substantial part of team's revenue. The luxury boxes and seating that is now standard in larger stadiums were once unheard of, as stadiums were more likely to just be infinite rows of normal seating, sometimes in benches, not even on seats. Sacrificing this revenue in exchange for a few thousand more seats is very difficult to do, so stadiums needed to create the boxes. But it is nearly impossible to retrofit these into older stadiums, so the teams needed to move into newer stadiums that had these amenities to make up for that revenue. Maintenance costs are another reason why these stadiums have been abandoned. These huge stadiums and old stadiums are really, really difficult to maintain, which means large maintenance bills. These larger, newer stadiums often don't have as high maintenance costs, even if there is a larger upfront cost to build them. However, the real issue comes when no events are happening in the stadium. If the stadium costs more to maintain than it's bringing in, in revenue, that makes it very difficult for governments to justify keeping them around, especially if the stadiums become unpopular with voters. To continue to use them, you also often have to make safety upgrades, to keep the maintenance in line with modern standards, which again just costs more money. That leads to the biggest problem. No one wants to buy them. Since these stadiums are huge, expensive to maintain, and as stated before, unusable for many modern sports due to inefficiencies and safety issues, it would make sense that no one in their right mind would fork over the money to deal with them. This leads to city, state, or federal governments that the stadium reside in often taking control and eventually just demolishing the stadium. Even the demolition can sometimes be a strain, in which case the stadium just sits there, slowly rotting away. So is there any solution to this problem? This is the world's stadium problem, what to do with these abandoned venues. We already highlighted how the largest stadium in the world handled this. The Great Strahov Stadium has been preserved by both government funding and is now used as a training stadium. While definitely past its glory days, it is better being barely used than demolished, as it preserves history. But what are some other ways that stadiums can be renovated? 
This is the Owen J. Bush Stadium in Indianapolis. When it was first built in 1931, it was used by several minor league baseball teams and by the early Continental football team. It underwent several attempts to revitalize the stadium after teams moved out, but none of them became a long-lasting success. The stadium fell into disrepair before a future plan was finally settled on. Bush Stadium was converted into apartment buildings, preserving the infield lights and exterior facade, as well as other historic elements like the owner's suite, ticket booths, and more. This both preserved the stadium for the future and built housing, and cool housing at that. This is a fantastic example of how a stadium could be repurposed rather than completely demolished into something new for the future that is beneficial for the city and its residents. The city of Barcelona had a similar problem with their La Monumental bullring. It seated almost 20,000 people before the last ever bullfight in Catalonia took place in 2011. And while this law has since been overturned, the ring has not returned to use despite its reputation as the most famous bullring in the city. However, another plan arose for what to do with the stadium. The Islamic Federation of Catalonia put forward a plan to convert the bullring into the largest mosque in Europe at a price of 2.2 billion euros. The plan would have preserved the bullring, turning it into a mosque with seating for 40,000 worshippers as well as a school for 300 students and an art museum. And while this was an ambitious plan, it was cancelled, and the bullfighting ring was instead turned into a shopping center, which is still an excellent way to convert a stadium into something new, if a little bit less interesting to talk about. Regardless of the conversion, I personally think that trying to salvage these often historic stadiums into something that can be preserved for future generations is a worthy goal. What do you think? Are there any other cool stadiums that could be converted in the future? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe for future videos that you may enjoy, like the one on screen now.